All right, thanks for joining me again, Ray. Uh, disappointing result today, not not the best. So, uh, how did you see the game going? Ah, um, right. So, I can accept better teams beating us. I can accept good sides with good pattern of play bopping up. Like I can accept that today. That first twenty minutes, twenty five minutes, I need my players need to know, and I'll give them some. I don't know, how can I put it? Words of uh, words of construction at halftime. Um, my teams aren't about what that first 25 minutes was. It was a, an absolute disgrace in terms of we prepared the players well enough. We'd done our research. We knew exactly what to expect from Ivy Bridge. Um, they came with a game plan. We knew what the game plan would be. Um, and we failed to lay a glove on them for 25 minutes. Um, of course, look, the, the goals have both come from mistakes. And, you know, like human error is part of football. We accept that. Um, but as for the rest of the play in that first 20 or 25 minutes was completely unacceptable from the defence, midfield, up front. It was just um, a lack of effort, I believe, and a lack of um, correct mentality. There was no, I call it like bicep in midfield. Like there was no, you know, there was no hunger to keep the ball up front. There was no bite in tackles. There was no de desire to go win and dominate headers from the defensive line. So yeah, I'm not going to apologise. Made two subs after 25 minutes, and you know, sent a message out. I think after that we did get a reaction. I think we did. We you, we could pick apart the uh, quality of what we did afterwards um, as much as you like, but at least we got a little bit of a foothold in the game in terms of like you know matching the desire and the the, the strength and the the will, if you like, to match what they had. Um, so. Moving on from that, after that, I think we should have scored. We've had a missed a golden opportunity just before half time, um, and then all through the second half, we were letting another chance go, and then another chance would go, and another chance would go. Um, our lack of ability to take our chances has been hurting us all season, and I think today is another reflection of that. Now, I believe in our forwards, and I believe in our ability to. I believe in our how good they are as players, but again. If if our if our chance to goal conversion rate remains as abysmal, and I don't mind using the words abysmal, if it remains as bad and as unprofitable as it has been, then we will make changes. I will not sit back and watch us um, get into good position time and time again for us to keep missing chances. Now, like I say, I'll back any of those players, and I won't call anybody out individually. Um, and I'll, I'll back them as long as they're trying hard, publicly at least. But we're getting frustrated and it's costing us now. Right? It's cost us, you know, we look at the look at even the street game. We've probably, we battered one of the best sides in our league, I believe. And um, we were unable to take make the most of it. So, yeah, like I say, the, we, were, we, were, um, we were poor at the back. We were poor in, in, in our chance conversion going forward. Um, I'm still glad that we've created them, of course, but we need to be more ruthless with them. And I thought for the first bit we were poor in midfield, so other than that, we did all right. But um, yeah, I'm really, really disappointed with today. Um, and like I said, we'll be we've got a game Tuesday, get that out of our system, and then we'll be training Thursday. Um, the boys will be reminded of if they want to play under my, under me and at this club um, that just rolling over and having your tummy tickled like we did in the first 25 minutes will not be accepted and um, I hope to get a reaction out of them. Great, thank you for your honesty there Ray, no we'll see you again. Sure.